Hey, soul fam. How you doing? How you grooving? How you moving? I wanted to just hop on here and go a little bit more in depth about some things. Okay. Because there's just be some. Wait, my fan gotta make the noise. <laughs> there just be some things that we gotta just talk about, so fam. All right, we gotta just knock these things out boop, 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 boop. so we could grow and just be that best version of ourselves that we see. And it's so close. Sometimes we're so close to Lord knows. And we have to just jump over these little tiny hurdles. Like we at the we at the finish line. And we just got to push, just a little bit more, just push, just push, just push. So let's just knock out a couple little minor things that we got to just understand, right? As we are growing, sorry, as we are growing and elevating, we have to understand that it's so easy to look over and compare ourselves to someone else's life and think we're missing out on something or think that they're more perfect than us and oftentimes jealousy stems from someone believing that another person is more perfect like why are they more perfect and it's kind it sounds really childish because it is but realistically this is very common okay it's it's so common that we are like not we because honey i do the work that we gotta do all the times we just so programmed to believe everything we see at first sight everything that you see at first sight is not real i don't care which, which who you are <laughs> everything you see at first sight is not real okay there's always some depth to it there's always some layers to it that maybe this person is just strong enough to bear it's so easy for us to wish we had this life and wish we had that life and we're not understanding what comes with it and trust me so fam i've learned my lesson time and time again okay that goes back to when i just really i quit my corporate job to and i was working for hp dell and to, to be a stylist, to be a hairstylist. I wanted to be a hairstylist. I wanted to open my shop. I wanted to do makeup. I wanted to do all that. And baby, this wasn't going to be a story time, but we're going to throw a little one minute story time in here. Baby, I was just like, sometimes we, we want certain things and we have to realize the maintenance and the work it takes to keep that. Right, so before you go and get jealous of what someone else has, ask yourself, am I strong enough to maintain that? And not to say I wasn't strong enough to maintain being a stylist, okay? Being a stylist, listen, y'all got it. <laughs> y'all got it. I'm going to style myself. But you have to understand, just in the, in the stylist point of view, is they have to create your vision on your head with their hands right so oftentimes you know it just you got the picky people you got this and you got that and you just gotta pick your battles okay you gotta pick your battles so am i gonna be for the rest of my life dealing with it <laughs> so just listen yeah i got it babe go all the new coming stylists all the new coming makeup artists congratulations do what you gotta do Okay, trusting you. I'm not saying it's not a vision. I'm just saying it's not my vision. Okay. <laughs> and if you want to know a little bit further, let me know. I'll love to do a deeper video on it later on. And let's move on. Let's focus on today's topic. All right, so fam, so we got to stop always thinking that we're missing out on something. And we are putting someone else down to try to get to where we got to go thinking that it's going to benefit us because we thinking we miss we missing out on it on it we need to have it we got to have it now we got to learn patience we have to learn discipline 
And social media has made it so easy for people to sit around and think, oh, I'm going to just sit here, close my eyes, and manifest, and I'm going to be able to handle it, and I'm going to be able to get it going on, and my business is going to be, I'm, I'm going to be made a millionaire, I'm going to be a billionaire. What does it take to be a millionaire? Before you sit around and get jealous at the millionaires and compare yourself to the millionaires, what is it that they have to do? Can you can you talk can you stand up to people without being rude and too emotional? Can you fire someone when it's time? Can you take the heat when they mad that you that you fired them? So realistically, soul fam, yeah, we're trying to elevate and be better versions of ourselves, but we cannot cheat ourselves when it's time to do the work. Cause when you sitting there. And those situations got your name on it. There's no way for you to go. <laughs> There's no way for you to run. Okay? You got to be sitting there. You have to be ready to take on the heat. Same thing with these relationships. Same thing with these, with these friendships, family ships. And definitely friendships. Because friendships is something that... We choose, right? Family, we don't really choose. Well, that we can remember, okay? Friends, we choose. So if we're choosing to try to be, make better friends and be a better friend, we have to be ready to, to take on what comes with just being a friend. Sometimes we don't know how to be a friend. And we ask for better friends. You're not going to get better friends if you're not learning how to be a better friend. And I mean a real friend. Sometimes we think friendship is, I know you, let's like each other pics on social media. Honestly, I don't even want my friends to be on my social media. I feel like, let's be friends, but do we have to be on social media? Maybe that's just me. You know? I'm the type of friend, or maybe I need to upgrade my upgrade my my friend um, skills. I guess you could say, because when I'm a friend, I'm like, you got a friend in me. Who's saying that? You got a friend in me. Um, Woody, <laughs> Buzz, Buzz like you. I'm thinking about really being there for you. If you if you're crying out for help, I'm gonna be a friend. Because if I'm crying out for help, I'm going to want you to be a friend. And I'm not the one to cry out for help often. So if I do actually cry out for help, like, hey, help me, and hey, you want to talk? I'm not going to say, hey, I need a million dollars. You know, I'm the type of friend, like, I'm realistic. If you want to sit around and talk, all right, let's sit around and talk. But don't be, the, don't sit around thinking you're going to sit around and complain all day long and think I'm going to just be listening to that. I don't want to hear you complain for hours and hours and hours. Okay. Once in a while, you want to complain? Okay, let's complain. Let's get it out. And then let's go get some ice cream. So, if you want a better job, you got to get your credentials up there. Okay, are you willing to sit around and take this course? Apply the knowledge? You want to have a brand? Are you, are you willing to... Be able to pay somebody? Have you ever paid somebody? You know, and not just for a little job. I'm talking about pay somebody on a, on a, on a payroll, okay? So you have to start learning about accounting. You have to start having someone to do your taxes right. Do you know about taxes? Do you have someone that you could trust? Are you reading up on it yourself? Sometimes we don't even want to take the, take the time to read up on it ourselves. We want to just believe everything that somebody tells us. Read up on it yourself. You, you often hear common stories of, you know, celebrities that end up either going bankrupt or money getting stolen and things like that. And it's pure, well, I can't say for them. All I can say is we have to be ready. When you're not ready... Are you asking? Somebody gonna call? Because you have to be paying attention. You have to be reading up on stuff. You have to be checking over employees. 
You can't be asking for a village and sitting around only focusing on one thing, one avenue, one family. You know, if you ask for a village, you gotta be you gotta be ready for this village. Okay. You gotta have someone for your mental health. I'm gonna book my life in my bed. You gotta be ready for your mental health. You have to be ready for losses. You gotta be ready for rude awakenings. Okay. You gotta be ready for people attitudes. Because trust me, babe. <laughs> people just be having attitudes. It's just like you you just have an attitude. So you gotta be ready to deal with your own attitude. When you're not in the mood and everybody looking at you like, hey, you gotta say, hey. You have to build those relationships. Sometimes we're not ready to build these professional relationships with people and we bringing them on and we not leading correctly. So do the work that is required, soul fam. Put yourself to the test. Sometimes we don't even put ourselves to the test. We just put ourselves out there. And I said this before, uh, talking back to the head brand. If there's something that you want to pursue, volunteer in it first. Okay? Volunteer in it first. And I did do this. That's what I knew. I was like, all right. You can count my days. <laughs> I still got time. You can talk to shit and change your mind later. Don't think you stuck. Okay? But just go put yourself out there and volunteer. You want to own a product line? Don't just look at the product line online and be like, oh, this is easy. Oh, all you got to do is package package products and sell them and, and market them. Yeah, it sounds easy to you doing it. Go work at a, a product store. Bath and Beyond. You want to sell clothes? Go go work at the clothes store. Go go learn the ins and outs. Go sit in there and listen. Go sit in the room and listen to what these people are doing, so you can learn how to either do it better, do it with more ease, or if you're just gonna be like, ah, uh, next, let me try something else. We can't be afraid to. Put ourselves out there and really give it a try. You want to own a nonprofit? Okay, go right down down there and and work at the nonprofit. Go right there, work at the nonprofit, and and look at what's happening. Get some front row seats. Be like, all right, this room, this room. Can I handle this? And then weigh out your options. Weigh out your options. Try this, try that, try this, try that. So that you don't waste so much time. Some people will be like, oh, I was 10 years at this job. They never tried no other options. They just took first, and you could, hey, by all means. If that's, if whatever floats your boat. But if you someone like me, and you wanna really get an honest choice with something, like, all right, let me see the real effects. Let me do this, let me do that. Let me pay attention here. Even before I, I did coaching professionally, okay? Before I did coaching professionally, I was doing coaching and, with everybody. I was just like, people was making me their mentor. I was like, hmm, hmm, okay. You weigh out my options, let me see. Let me do some research. Let me get some feedback. Get some feed. Some of us can't even handle feedback. Can you handle the feedback? Because people are going to tell you, listen, the, I like to get my feedback from, from kids. I'm going to just tell you. I want a kid to give me some feedback. When I, when I first started doing him, like first, first, I would ask my little sister. My little sister, she's like 10 or 11 now. And she was probably like, like five perfect <laughs> okay i'll be like how does hair look if she say it looked like a wig I'd, 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 
I gotta keep going. I gotta keep trying. Because I don't want it to look like a wig. You know what I'm saying? So we gotta be able to handle the feedback. And that feedback, oh baby, that feedback. That feedback is heavy. Because it's the truth. It's their truth. It's, it's your job to either be like, all right, let me sharpen this up a little. Or you can leave it alone. You don't, gotta, you don't even gotta feed it. You can give it back. <laughs> you could either feed it or give it back. That's why it's feedback. Okay? You could pick and choose. <laughs> and if you looking to improve and see where you want to improve, then feedback is amazing. Because then you could wait out your feedback. Like, okay, I got five five stars and four and two one stars. Go wait it out. That's a good balance. I'll take I'll take I'll take five to two ratio. So before you sit around and compare and think you missing something. Right? Before you sit over there and look and be like, oh, they look so perfect. Let me be so perfect. You got to learn how to take things at a grain of salt. My God. Okay. And be you. Sometimes we so busy looking at everybody else and then we use everybody else to try to create who we are that we don't we don't even know who we are we start following to we start following instead of being inspired we have to learn the difference between following and inspiration and there can be a fine line But you have to know who you are, the message you want to portray. You have to know your relationship with God. This is number one. I should have started with this. When you know your relationship with God, it helps you understand so much. You, you even understand when people don't know God. When you know God and you have a, a relationship with God, it helps you know, all right, God, I want you, I want your hands in all this. And if someone don't have their hands in, in you, I don't want to deal with them. And you have that choice. Yes, definitely those are my choices. Because I've learned what it's like to waste time with those who don't have their relationship in God. Because who's leading you? If God isn't leading you, who done led you over here? Okay. Who done led you over here? Because God, God, God ain't leading you. So who led you over here? And you have to be protecting what you built in. If you're building something and your foundation isn't God, good luck. Okay? Good luck. If you're building something and your roots aren't rooted, what they mean to be rooted? Good luck. And it helps you understand moving forward. You, you win so many unfought battles. You win so many unfought battles at the, at the at the front at the at the front end. As soon as they say, "Hey, just 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 keep going, just keep it moving, just just keep it moving," because you you already you already know how it's going to end up if it's not from God. You already know how it's gonna end up. Even if even if it sounds so good, right? And at the front end, they offering you 
your million dollars that you're working for. Right? They gonna give you that million dollars. So you like, it smell good. But at first sight, it smelled good, right? At first sight, it looked pretty. And then when you start to realize, okay, I'm gonna have to put on a thong. And not to say this is me, but I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have to shift who I am and put a perspective out there and mislead millions of women, mil millions of women. It's not worth it. Because later on, when you get that feedback from God, right? And God look and look at your history and the amount of lies you heard. Instead of saying when he compared and he weighed out. Don't play. Don't sit around and play, so fam. Do not sit around and play. And as we talk about the topic, right, I came across this post. And they was like, well, where was God? Where was God during slavery? Right? Trying to basically say, like, you know, they was, their understanding was, God was torturing us and we deserved it, right? And I was just so blown away of the distance that person was from God. Like God is here and they were like, okay, just not even on the back. Okay. Because when you understand your relationship with God, so fam, you understand that God gives you free will. Right? God gives you free will. God is not going to put a gun to your head. That's not, that, why would God put a gun to your head? That's not love. Okay? And where was God in slavery time? time? God show up when he show up. He got his own watch. And none of us was physically there. Okay? And, and to top it off, God gave the slaves free will and the slave masters free will. Right? And then there was Harriet Tubman who realized, wait, we don't have to do this. You know, you have slaves that kill themselves. It, it gets deep. But to try to sum it up and say, oh, well, where was God? It's the most high ignorance that any person could have. And, and, and those conversations that start off like that let you know God is not there. When you let people foolish actions control your relationship with God, guess what you become? People's foolish actions is not God's actions because we have free will. It's simple. At any given moment, even me, so famous, at any given moment, I can say, you know what, Lord? You do this. I'm out. I'm going to go Twerk at the club and give me some dollars. Right? You gonna say, okay. Go ahead. Good luck. That's what you gonna say. <laughs> you gonna say, good luck. <laughs> Have fun. I'll, I'll see you when you get back. So you have to grow your relationship. And that takes time, that takes work. That takes putting in something and waiting for a result. It takes patience. It 
takes having a strong, clear mind. Not let anyone just come tell you something and then switch. I wouldn't want God to be like that with me. If somebody come and tell them something about me, I wouldn't want them to be like, Shh, switch. I was looking at that bird. So, we have to just have more logic. Just have more logic. Because a lot of what is given is just confusion, following, following anything. I think that's all I got for y'all so fam. That was a lot. That was a lot. Trust the process. Trust your heart. Be careful. Oh Lord, be careful. Be careful. Don't take that one light, lightly. Be careful, so fam. Don't be so careful that you're scared, okay? But just be careful. Be careful what you're talking. Be careful who you're sharing with. Be careful how you're building your plans. Sometimes we start building our plan around maybe a thought, maybe an experience. And the Lord actually showed me this real quick, real quick. I know I'll be like, <laughs> but it's so good. The Lord be showing me this. Few quick, quick, one minute few not a few years ago like years ago not even a few years ago but years ago I was probably like 16 or that's what I said not a few years, years I was probably like 16 or 15 and so much was happening in my life at that time you know like so much that I couldn't control right and so I felt a really heavy heart and I wanted to, it was something in me that wanted to make a change for my family members, you know, like I wanted to just, I just had all these crazy things that I said I was going to do, you know, and this is at like 15, I don't think I was even 16, I think this was probably like 14, 15, and as I grew up, I stuck to that word, right, I stuck to that word, so I started building and growing to try to fulfill that vision and God showed me recently like we have to be mindful of what we're committed to because sometimes we commit to something under too much stress no clarity no guidance, no understanding, no relationship with God. And then we're stuck in this place, driving ourselves insane <laughs> because of something that we unconsciously chose to do, right? So you want to make some choices, set some goals, from a clear, level-headed space and not take on so much weight as if it's yours, okay? I'm, I'm, uh, I'm gonna just leave right there. Ooh, 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 ooh. Get the clarity, so fam. Take your time. and make wise decisions. All right, so fam, Amelia Adelia, thank you guys for tuning in. If you wanna be a part of the Soul Fam, you already know, all you have to do is subscribe. Subscriptions are free. It's a free support system, by the way. <laughs> no pressure. 
Amelia Adenia. I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye for now.